Okay, well here I am back in the bush again. This time I figured I would take a quick run in and drop a dead tree for some more 14 foot logs. This one I managed to get three nice size uh, 14 foot logs out of him. And I believe that's all I need for the uprights. Uh, I was cutting in here on the back of our property here about two and a half years ago in the winter with my snowmill. And I see there's lots of smaller ones dead in here, but there are a lot of smaller ones growing in here as well. Now look at this burnt stump. Now I've been, I've been on this property for 49 years and there has not been a fire here yet. That's how long these old pine and any trees really, I think, last um, if you uh, burn them. Now that fire was probably from 1922 or maybe a little newer, but not much. Uh, anyways, Heather and I are probably going to come in here with the ATV and the trailer. We're going to clean up a lot of stuff that had already been knocked down a long time ago. Like this here, I don't know if that's going to make good firewood. It's probably pretty punky inside. But uh, I can see some ends that I had left. This I remember this is where I had one hung up. If you watch the video, I had a road right through here in the winter and you can see it. I might bring the uh, dozer in and clear this up, make it a good road. But you can see this tree here, somebody had cut. It wasn't me because that's too old, the moss, for me. Maybe my dad or somebody, but y you can see there's lots of... Uh, Good looking dead stuff in here still. It's been dying, but as it dies, there's lots of smaller stuff that's cropping up around it. It's a nice little balsam growing here. Uh, another balsam, a white pine right through there. You can see that. Uh, some white spruce here, some jack pine popping up. Uh, this here, what is this here? Yeah, that's a balsam. You can tell a balsam because they have needles only on the sides. Nothing at the top or the bottom. White spruce has needles all the way around it. And balsam has the flat bark as well. Here's a white pine. That's a nice little white pine there. You see smooth bark. It's got very large needles when it gets older. We have a mixture of everything in here growing. Um, I'll try to find a, a white spruce in here. Oh, white spruce right over here. Lots of them too growing. They have needles all the way around the branches. You can see there's a white spruce. It's got needles all the way around. Not as many on the bottom, but it does. It's a little rougher bark too when it's younger. Of course, they have lots of white birch in here too as well on the back of the property here. <clears throat> I eventually want to make roads all the way in here. Here's some that's been cut down too and left. I don't see this in the winter because I come over here. Probably something my dad left here, but I do see there's lots of dead ones in here. There's smaller ones too, which is great for filling the woodshed. I don't have to split them. And also in the winter, it'll be really nice to come in and get these too. Anyways, that's what we're up to today. We're in the bush. I was in cutting some down. Um, getting some ready. I'm going to need some 16 footers. I'm going to haul these guys out with the tractor. I'll come back in maybe later this evening or tomorrow morning. I'll pick these ones up and then uh, I'm going to mill those and then I'm going to start moving that mill and weld on that 16 foot extension so I can start to get uh, to uh, get the top sill plate on it and then it's just a matter of uh, cutting material making the trusses putting it up there, uh, cutting the sides, and then putting the roofing seal on top and closing the sides in with board and batten. So like I say, next on my agenda is I'm gonna go home, I'm going to hook up that tractor to the trailer, get the cultivators off, get my get my quick hitch put on the tractor. I may come in this evening and load these logs, take it out and mill them. That's all we need for our uprights. Then I'm gonna start uh, milling those, Oh, I do have to cut up those slabs first. So one thing I have to cut up is those slabs, get them out of the way, move that tractor, get the mill around into place. So for now, we are just going to uh, head on home. I brought everything I thought I would need in here. Chainsaw, my gloves, measuring tape, uh, tripod for the camera, which I didn't use, and uh, the tools in the toolbox of this old bike.
know people say I should put a railing on the bridge in case I slip off. But if the road gets wet enough that I can slip off the bridge, my main concern I think would be going up that hill in that greasy clay. I think the bridge would be the least of my worries. Two more parches right in there. I don't know if you can see them. They're sitting in there watching me go by. Lots of rough grout. I'm not going to mill these up 